Puerto Escondido, Mexico. Though it could certainly pass for paradise by any standard, the exquisite beaches disguise an area still struggling to provide adequate health care to its residents. It is here that a group of Northwestern University medical students spent the summer of 2012 working with doctors and healthcare professionals throughout the state of Oaxaca. Most of the programs are based on, on, on local strengths in the healthcare system. Uh, therefore, for example, here the local strength is primary health care, preventative medicine. For a lot of our project, we went to um, the Centro de Salud, and these are not really hospitals, just very small clinics um, set in locations where people don't really have you know, as easy access to hospitals. They do a great job of placing clinics in areas that really need them. We drove out 45 minutes to the middle of nowhere on a mountain, and how are those people going to get to the hospital? They don't have a car, um, they can't walk, those, those sorts of things. Difficulty with transportation is not the only obstacle facing the country's residents and medical workers. Limited access to advanced equipment means in most cases, doctors here learn to rely on their own skills and intuition to treat their patients. You know, you have a patient and then you get a blood test and you get a urine test and you get an ultrasound and you get an x-ray and you just rely on those tests to tell you what's going on. But here you see a doctor that has to go off what he hears, what he sees and what he touches because he doesn't have the ability to order all those tests and get them immediately. One other thing I like really enjoyed about this is the doctors here are extremely receptive to what we had to say. I think every time we went in and saw a patient they would always look at us and they'd say okay you guys do everything you want to do and tell me what you think they have. It's just really nice because they really do value your opinion and stuff. Sometimes in the U.S., like in a rushed um, medical system, doctors don't have as much time to develop relationships with their patients or like to get to know them better. And I think sometimes that might hurt the care that these patients receive because there's a, you know, a chunk of the story missing from their background. Despite the rise of federally funded health care, Distance and, in some cases, lack of funds still drive many to seek out their local parteras or midwives for issues related to more than just childbirth. Pero ellas, las par como parteras, son líderes en sus comunidades. Y una mujer embarazada en una comunidad siempre va primero con la partera. Sí, de enfermos diarios, como me lleguen a mí, así le llegan. Ajá, le llegan a ella. En todo el día mi abuelita curando, de noche ahí la van a traer para que fuera a parquear en las casas. A new twist on this year's program finds the students living not in hotels, but embedded into the town of Puerto Escondido, living with host families and in many cases, the same conditions as the patients they treat every day. One of the most important things is to tell them that they come to be a part of a community, like through their families. They are not in a hotel, they are not a tourist, but they come to live with a family, to convive, to learn about the culture. Heat. Heat, that's, that's the first thing I noticed. I, I've killed two scorpions in my room, <laughs> so at that point I was like, all right, I think I can get used to Mexico. <laughs> Finding themselves intertwined with the lives of the town's residents, these students found an opportunity to more directly influence the community. The government formally provided a basic level of scientific medical training to the parteras, but has been unable to for several years due to a lack of funds. This year, the students took the initiative and provided that training themselves, gathering the parteras from villages all over the state of Oaxaca. And though the Global Health Initiative contributed the funding for them to travel to Mexico, the students wanted to raise their own funds for this unique opportunity. Our student group raised money and we were able to donate to help um, pay for the hotel and the food for the midwives so that they would be able to come and stay for a week because normally they wouldn't be able to afford it. We've been doing quite a bit of planning since we um, selected the group of students to come to 
Ah, mi cuarto escondido. ¿Dónde está? Once together, the training program consisted of a series of presentations and workshops, using some of the students as replacement subjects, designed to expound upon the extensive practical knowledge the midwives had accumulated over many years. I mean, it's almost certain that they've seen all these things before. And it's just like putting words to what they already know. As the sun is setting on a warm Friday evening, the students gather for their last night together here in Puerto Escondido. They reflect on the shared adventure they undertook, not just in the interest of healthcare, but as a quest for the kind of knowledge one must journey outside the classroom to receive. We exchange experiences, like we say how school is in the States for us, and the doctors tell us what their training was like, and the parteras tell us, you know, how their villages were, and we tell them how our hospitals are. It's, we're exchanging a lot more than just medicine here, and, and I think that's, that is what is so unique about this experience in particular, that we can share more than just medicine.